At the end of the day, you know, people can have an idea of what they want for themselves or for other people or for whoever, but it's like, it's your life, right? So like, if you're sitting at home watching us right now and someone's telling you to go do the thing because they want to do the thing and they didn't do it, and you're sitting there being like, I don't want to do that shit. You have to choose what you want to do, right? And again, we talk about this all the time. What do you value? What are the things you value in life? And what are the outcomes you want for you and your family? Focus on those things and find a path to get there that you enjoy doing and that you can get good at doing for a long period of time. If you can do that shit, you'll get where you want to go. You'll be in line with your values and you'll give your family the life they deserve. Other people imposing their thoughts and beliefs onto you is just them projecting out some, you know, something that they haven't fulfilled or, or some uh, belief they have inside them about themselves that they're projecting onto you. You need to be strong enough to realize I'm here for me. I need to figure out what I want to do. And you need to be strong enough to have the courage to do it. And again, the, the best way to do that is with a community around you of people who are in the same boat, right? We have like thousands of students who are in the position of other people think I should do this, but I want to do this. And we're like, if you want to do it, we got your back. You need that support system around you to do it. Have, have you had support people around you? Like when you, when you decided not to be a doctor and you decided to go online, how did you make that transition? Were you alone? How did you, how did you do that switch? First I was alone and I failed. You know, when I started my hmm. restaurant, because that was kind of the first business after I, I broke away from being a doctor, um, I did try to attempt it alone, you know, although I had, you know, I had employees and stuff like that, but I was still operating from a place of like the, the, the genius with a thousand helpers. And that just did not work. And then when I went online, the first, you know, the first attempt, I also did it alone and, uh, and that didn't work out. Um, but it wasn't until I surrounded myself with, with the right people. And again, at that level, I needed the people that I would hang out with every day, the people that I would like, um, I guess, uh, 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 um, spend the most time with every day needed to be on that trajectory and needed to be speaking different language. Because at the time, whenever I would hang out with my, with my family or with my parents or whatever, they're talking about, you know, uh, uh, the news and they're talking about the war in Iraq and they're talking about this and they're talking about that. Everything out there that we cannot control and not focusing at anything here that we can't actually control and do anything about. Whenever I hang out with my friends on their days off, we're, you know, going to a hookah lounge or we're, you know, we're uh, 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 playing video games or whatever. And then I kind of started looking at my life thinking, if I want to do this and I'm hanging out with people that have, that have no interest in going there, how exactly am I going to make that happen? And this is where I, like, I made the intention move of removing myself from that cohort of people and placing myself in a completely different cohort and a place where people are striving to to achieve great things in life and great things in life doesn't always need to be in finances regardless what anyone is trying to do it's very important to surround yourself with the right people that are all thriving to become successful in that area. This is why our community at BJK University is an incredible place for anyone wanting to start a business because you've got nearly 6,000 people rallying around you to do this thing.